Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Louis Garage. So we are here with my Lotus Exige S Final Edition, sorry Exige 390 Final Edition I should say. Um, got too used to uh, my Series 2 Exige. Uh, so what are we doing today? Well we have just done the final inspection at the uh, Lotus Workshop or the McLaren Lotus Workshop in Auckland and it came back with a really clean bill of health. I don't think there was any problems or anything wrong with it at all. Uh, and now I can actually start pushing the car a little bit more, you know, I can explore the limits a little bit more uh, So what I'm hoping to do is actually go on a track day sometime soon And what do you need when you go on a track day? Well, you're gonna need a whole bunch of safety equipment um, So I've actually just bought a new helmet. Uh, I've bought a race suit uh, I've bought a neck brace uh, All the things that you need to get into a track day uh, But there's a few other things as well that I would really like to do um, before I take this car onto the track. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So I'll just quickly show you um, all the things that we're going to do. Um, and then, yeah, we'll just uh, start the work. Right, so here we are at my desk slash workbench in the garage. And I've just laid out all the things that we're going to be doing today. Um, so very first thing is the fire extinguisher and the fire extinguisher mount. Now this mount is from Simply Sports Cars in Australia. Uh, it does seem to be a really, really well-made mount. It's quite thick aluminium, which is great. And this is specifically designed for the uh, V6 Exige. So I'm pretty sure this is going to fit in the car, unlike um, the mount that I <laughs> previously bought for my Series 2 Exige, which needed quite a bit of uh, work and quite a bit of fettling just to be able to fit it in. Um, but one thing I had to do uh, before I was able to make this video, um, I actually had to get my dad to drill a new hole here. Um, because for some reason my fire extinguisher uh, bracket that came with the fire extinguisher that I bought locally here at Mitre 10 uh, did not have the same holes as the holes originally drilled by SSC. Um, so basically we just uh, drilled a new hole there and then we also chamfered the hole uh, because it comes with countersunk bolts as you can see here. So you do need to use, I think it was a 6.5 that we used in the middle and it was a 10mm around the outside um, just to chamfer the edge there um, so that the countersunk bolt sits flush or almost flush um, against the bracket. Um, I do like the quality of this one. It does come with these uh, little uh, knobs uh, to stop it from vibrating against the floor on the car. So I think that's a really good design. And obviously you've got the logo there as well, which is really nice, but you don't even see the logo actually when you um, install it. Um, and they also provide some slightly longer bolts as well, which is great to see because that is a bit of a problem when you install these things on top of existing bolts. Um, this will actually be installed uh, uh, right in front of the passenger seat, so it uses the bolts for the passenger seat. Um, I'll be able to show you that soon. Um, the other thing that I'm installing as well is a rear tow hook uh, because uh, even though it's not a requirement uh, for track days in New Zealand, uh, it is nice to know that if you do get stuck or if you do, you know, have any issues that they're able to tow you out easily um, because honestly if you had a look underneath uh, the Lotus Exige uh, there's not many places where, you know, you can tow um, so uh, the front tow hook is pretty easy because you can just screw that in uh, during a track day but the rear tow hook is definitely a little bit more challenging so I think I would like to be prepared um, even though I don't plan on going off track or anything like that um, I'm, I'm not I'm not that crazy at least not yet um, so yeah but it's it's still nice to know that you know if you do get into a bit of a problem um, then it's fairly easy for someone to pull you out so yeah we'll just um, get started and we'll see how we go all right so next we're just going to install the fire extinguisher bracket to the bracket that's going to go under the seat and um, the reason why I actually drilled this hole here is simply because this one this one looks like it's gonna work but if you flip it around you know that's where the um, little stoppers are so I couldn't really use those those that hole uh, so that's why I've decided to use this hole here and then this hole over here um, and it's really simple it's just a, an allen head and an 8mm uh, nut and then we just need to tighten that up against each other make sure it's nice and tight and then we'll be able to install this whole bracket in the car. Okay, so now that we've drilled the extra hole and mounted the bracket, um, we 
Okay, so now that we've mount Okay, so now that we've drilled the extra hole and we've mounted the bracket, now we can get to installing the bracket into the passenger seat area. Uh, so the first thing we have to do is have a look at these bolts down here. So there's one over here that we have to undo. And there's also one over here that we have to undo. Now, this one is a little bit more difficult to see, but it is literally just there. And for me, at least they are six millimeter uh, hex bolts. So you'll need a six millimeter uh, hex bit or Allen bit like this or similar one or maybe an Allen key if you don't have one of these uh, and then just uh, basically undo those bolts. Alright, so bolt number one. Alright, this should be enough to get it loose. And then we just have to undo the bolt by hand. And do the same thing on the other side as well. Sweet. Alright, so now that I've got both of the original bolts removed, now we can have a look at the new bolts. So the new bolts that they've supplied are a little bit longer than the original bolts. And also we've got these funny little spaces um, for the final edition cars. And I believe that is because the floor is actually a little bit lower on the final edition, ca final edition cars than the previous uh, versions. So uh, we need this little spacer just to rise the bracket a little bit above the seat rails so that um, it actually goes over the floor properly. So I'm just going to install that and then I will uh, show you what it looks like um, just uh, in a mock-up. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's all installed. So we've got the little spacer set up there between the fire extinguisher bracket and the seat rail. That is just a raised extinguisher bracket above uh, this little uh, floor over here. And we've got the same situation happening on the other side as well. And then all you need to do is grab your 6mm hex bit or your allen key and tighten up the new bolt. Um, which is, I think, stainless steel, so it's quite good quality. Uh, and then there you have it, it's pretty much installed and ready to go. Um, so my one just clears the seat, uh, so that looks pretty good, it's not actually touching the seat there. Uh, I'll just put on the fire extinguisher now and just see how everything fits and make sure it's okay before I finish off this job. Cheers! Okay, so the great news is that the fire extinguisher is now installed, the Simply Sports Cars uh, fire extinguisher bracket. And I've just got the fire extinguisher from a local hardware shop, um, but it is New Zealand Motorsport approved, so that's great. And um, what's my review? Well, it's really good. Um, the Simply Sports Cars uh, extinguisher bracket is quite thick, it's quite well made, and the positioning is really good. And it doesn't really touch the seat, it only touches it just very, very slightly, so that's, that's good and it's in a pretty easy to reach location uh, and I don't think it interferes with the leg space very much um, I think uh, your legs will go on top of that and your feet will obviously go there so it's all good I would definitely recommend getting one of these or something similar for your car uh, because the last thing you want is for an emergency situation um, a fire to break out somewhere maybe a you know different car it doesn't even have to be your car it could be someone else's car and uh, yeah, it's just great to have in that sort of emergency situation because you never know what might happen. All right, everyone. So we're just having a look at installing the rear tow hook as well. And I just had a quick look at some of the instructions that were sent to me. And it seems like the best place for it is basically over here. Um, we're going to be removing a couple of these bolts uh, that seem to be... Uh, holding the under tray in uh, and basically bolting the um, tow hook to those two bolts so I still need to figure out which two um, but that seems to be what we need to do all right uh, so we'll just remove two and then we'll give it a test give it a try all right so it is a 10 mil bolt that we need to remove um, so I'm gonna be placing it more to the right of the car so I'm going to be doing this bolt there and then this bolt there so. Let's take 
those two out. And yeah, apparently that's all we need. So we'll put the tow hook on and then tighten everything up. All right, everyone. So we're back a couple of days later and I found that the bolts that come in the car are just a little bit too short with the tow hook installed. So I decided to go and buy some more bolts from the hardware shop. And so hopefully now we've got the right bolts and we're able to install this into the car. All right, folks, and there you have it. The rear tow hook is installed. It's pretty easy, just two bolts there. And yeah, it's definitely better with the new bolts because the old ones were not really catching on the thread. It was just touching it a little bit, but I definitely felt like it was not very secure. So it's good to have those new bolts in there. Um, what size did I get? Let's have a look. Um, it was an M8 times 25 mil bolt. So you can probably just get the same ones. And they seem to fit really well. Um, I didn't really intend on them being gold, but you know, whatever. <laughs> it's a bit of bling, I guess. And yeah, that's the, the rear tow hook there. So I think it is really good because you can actually see it from all the way up here. Um, so it's pretty easy to spot. And as you can see, if you had a rope or if you had a, a tow hook on there um, to pull your car out, uh, it would not interfere with anything else. So it doesn't interfere with the exhaust, doesn't interfere with the diffuser. It actually comes out nice um, through the gap there on the diffuser. So I think that should be all good. And lastly, let's just have a quick look from behind the car. Yep, looks pretty good I reckon. You can actually kind of see it um, if you're behind the car, which is kind of cool. There you go, makes it look a bit more racy. Okay, so the great news is that the fire extinguisher is now installed, the Simply Sports Cars uh, fire extinguisher bracket, and I've just got the fire extinguisher from a local hardware shop, um, but it is New Zealand Motorsport approved, so that's great. And um, what's my review? Well, it's really good. Um, the Simply Sports Cars uh, extinguisher bracket is quite thick, it's quite well made, and the positioning is really good. And it doesn't really touch the seat, it only touches it just very, very slightly, so that's that's good. And it's in a pretty easy to reach location. Uh, and I don't think it interferes with the leg space very much. Um, I think uh, your legs will go on top of that, and your feet will obviously go there. So it's all good. I would definitely recommend getting one of these or something similar for your car, uh, because the last thing you want is for an emergency situation, um, a fire to break out somewhere, maybe a you know, different car, it doesn't even have to be your car, it could be someone else's car, and uh, yeah, it's just great to have in that sort of emergency situation, because you never know what might happen. So anyway, thanks for joining for the fire extinguisher bracket and the rear tow hook install as well. Other than that, um, please uh, like and subscribe, obviously, and if you have any comments, comment below as well. Uh, there's going to be a whole bunch more content coming to the channel. So I will see you next time. Catch you later.